what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I've posted. I apologize about that. I've been really busy with my school. I just finished my spring semester, so I have a little more time on my hands right now before I start my summer class. I wanted to just record a video updating you on my life and kind of what's been going on. I am, I am in my last year of my master's program. I'm currently getting a degree in counseling. So I just finished my spring semester. I have one more semester in the fall and I will be done with uh, my master's degree, which I'm very excited about because it's so crazy that I am that I will have a master's degree. I never planned on going to college after high school, let alone pursue a master's degree. So very excited about uh, this next chapter, finishing up my, de my degree and starting to work and uh, get a job and start doing counseling. Yesterday was May 31st, which marked my 12 year anniversary of my injury. In 2010, I broke my neck diving into a wave at the beach on Memorial Day, which happened to fall on May 31st. So I really wanted to record a video just kind of talking about some of the things that this injury has taught me, what I've learned these past 12 years, being in a wheelchair and living in a body that no longer fully works and having to rely on people and the, all the suffering and the hard times that I've gone through that have molded me into the person I am today. So I want to start talking about suffering and the meaning of suffering. Suffering is a part of life. Everyone goes through it and I used to view it as a negative thing. I didn't like to suffer. I mean, I don't really think anyone likes to suffer, but I used to view it as why is this happening to me um, instead of what is this teaching me or what can I learn from it? There's this really awesome book called Man's Search for Meaning written by this guy named Dr. Frankel. And he talks about suffering and the meaning of suffering and how if a person has a reason for their suffering, they can basically go through almost anything. I don't know, that really, I really related to that, just being paralyzed and how I continue to fight and have been fighting these past 12 years to keep moving forward every day and facing adversity every day and looking at all those hard times that I've gone through, how they made me a stronger person. I've grown so much in my faith these past 12 years. I've gotten closer to God than I've ever been in my entire life through my injury, which I think is kind of crazy because I feel like, I mean, in the beginning of my injury, I was very angry at him and I blamed him for what happened. And I probably went the opposite way. Um, I did go the opposite way for a little bit, but then as the years went by, I just kind of started leaning on him more and realized that I can't live my life without him. I can't just do this on my own, especially being in a wheelchair, uh, being paralyzed. There's no way that I can handle this life and have a positive attitude and a smile on my face and wanna keep fighting without him in my life. So once I realized that, you know, it wasn't his fault that my injury happened and that he actually turned my tragedy into a triumph, I, switched my perspective and started viewing my suffering as growth. Um, I wanna share two verses that I have found pretty recently in the Bible that really just hit home for me. And I feel like a lot of other people will be able to resonate with this and hopefully this will help inspire people. If you are currently suffering right now, going through a hard time, just know that one, it's not for nothing and two, it's gonna end, it's not gonna be forever. So the first verse I wanna share is James 1, verses two through four. And it says that, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. I love that word perseverance. I actually have the word persevere tattooed on my body. It's one of my life mottos to just never give up, continue moving forward and keep fighting. 
And so when I when I saw that in the Bible, I was like, oh cool. I never knew the word perseverance was really in the Bible. And it kind of started it kind of reinforced what I was already learning and starting to think is that when you go through hard times, it tests your faith and gives you perseverance, which helps you to continue moving forward and fighting. Another verse that I want to share is Romans 5, 3 through 5. And this one says, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And basically, as long as you have hope, you have what you need to keep moving forward. I have another quote on my body that says, he who has hope has everything. Because I believe if you don't have any hope, then you're not gonna be able to continue fighting and moving forward. But if you have hope, that's all you need. And so the main point of all this is that, you know, suffering is a part of life. We all go through it. It's hard, but it's not permanent. And it makes us stronger. I think difficult times make strong people. And I feel like if we can just switch our way of thinking towards suffering, instead of why did this happen and kind of complaining about it, viewing it as, okay, you know, what can I learn from this? What is this teaching me? How, how is this making me a stronger, a better person? And that's helped me so much just these past few years in my life is knowing that one, my suffering is not for nothing. There's, there's a reason for it. And it's made me into the person I am today that I love. I would not be the person I am at all had I not gone through all of the trials and tribulations that I've gone through in my life. And everyone's gonna be different, but when you're able to find meaning in your suffering, it makes it worthwhile going through because you know it's gonna make you a stronger, better person. So that's a short message I wanna share with all of you. I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much if you're still watching, if you're sticking around with me for these past few years of my YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. I still wanna continue making videos, um, so I'm gonna post whenever I can, but I wanted to record just kind of like a life update, talking about what I've learned these past 12 years being in a chair. I've gotten closer to God, I've grown in my faith, gotten closer with my family, I have an education, getting a master's degree for counseling, and through that, I'm hoping to be able to help other people um, just by sharing my experience. I, kn I, I knew after my injury I always wanted to help other people. I wanted to give back, I wanted to make a difference in others' lives, but I never knew how I'd be able to do that being in a wheelchair. And uh, you know, God opened this door for me to be able to get into this counseling program and get a degree to basically talk and help other people. I still have full function of my mind and my mouth, so this is a total God thing because there's no way I would have gotten into college, let alone this master's program, had it not been for him. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this today's video. I hope you, you enjoyed it or you got something out of it. If you did, please comment below, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,